my hair off. Um, super fun. She's super awesome. Um, I do want to explain uh, my color. We're just we're going to cut it short and stuff. Uh, we might need to change the color a little bit in the back. It it's probably going to show a lot of the dark. But anyway, um, we're just going to go for it, and she's just going to kind of explain what she's doing, and just excited to have a good good change. Off. Yeah, cut my hair off. Hey, you have to fight Catholics back here. No, no, we're good. We're going to bring her back up first so we can make it a little bit more asymmetrical. Do you want me to talk to this whole thing? Yeah, if that's okay. <laughs> well, I usually have a lot to say. <laughs> well, you can say what you need to, you know? I don't have a lot to say. I always point cut the bottom because I don't like a real blunt line. I don't know if you like a blunt line. You know what? You just do it. I'm all good. Whatever. You should just video this and play music. I know, right? No. Oh. And then they just have to follow along. That works. They can do that. Then you don't have to listen to them. Never. <laughs> You're darling. Be fun to have a good change. I might need your little trimmers to come in. Yeah, I thought about that too. Maybe we'll be okay with your dark. Okay, cool. I just got down the tenor to here. Oh, nice. Perfect. So this is just what you wanted to do. Textured a lot? Yeah. I mean, I don't a ton through my ends, just up through my root area because my ends are so fine and thin as they are. So I don't need a ton of the ends, but just up through the crown. Are your trimmers close by? Yeah, in fact, you might need to just use this big one. Sorry. My little ones just, they're not cutting. I don't know what happened to them. You're looking it? Yes. Like I'm gonna wing it then. Perfect. You do a lot of these, don't you? Yeah. Yeah, it's super fun. Cute sister's hair. Thank you. Yeah, she loves you. All entertainment. You're <laughs> right. See what she's doing in the back the end? Okay. I'm just point cutting everything so there's no blunt lines anywhere. Take a little fire. Uh-huh. Is that one too big? straight out from the head and point cutting it too. Yeah, I've had a really super short. Okay, that would be 
awesome. Okay, now we're going to start this side shorter. Do we need to turn so you mm -hmm. can see the end? Okay. And she still wants the top of her ear covered, so we'll go just above half of your ear. So you don't feel like your ears exposed. Perfect. This is just a little bit longer than how it covers. Okay. I'll let you look at it, see if that's where you want it. Okay. Did you just barely color it? Mm, yeah, a couple weeks ago. So we're cutting it to symmetrical, so we'll do this side shorter. Before I finish cutting that side, I'm going to decide where we're going to take this length. Okay. Okay, too short. For sure. Like she said on the front and stuff, just once you cut it, like she says, you can always take more. So maybe don't go quite as short at first, and then you can always go back and take a little bit more. So just to be safe. Especially if they have calyx, you got to really watch for that. Yeah, for sure. Um, yeah, I just have to back on that. <laughs> For 
sure. With that magic comb. You bet. Doesn't happen without the comb. My part lines are never pretty. I don't actually don't park, so if you're good, you can park. <laughs> I never do have the tallest. I know, right? <laughs> okay, now I'm just gonna angle this down to meet her corner in the front. Because I want to keep that one in the front. Unless you change your mind. Okay. back through and texture all this really good old texturizing shears when we get the length we want. So we're just blending the back up to the top now so we can start taking the shorter in the crown. everything up away from the head so you can follow the angle of the head so you can overcompensate for that to fall down and lose the length. going to go back through and cross check everything. And if it's really going to be even. <laughs> That's what we don't. Yeah. <laughs> we don't want it even.
full hair cut, I point cut it. So it's super, super textured. Center, we just need to be careful. Some of your clients are thinner in the front, so you have to just watch that. Michelle has a lot of hair, doesn't she? Yeah, it's fine, but she does have a lot. It's not fair. <laughs> Both my sisters got all the hair, too. I know. I'm like, what? And she got about 10 more inches on her leg. <laughs> <laughs> that happened at my house, too. <laughs> Texture, but see if you want that any shorter. Mm, I think that'll be good. Okay. I think once we texture you, but we can yeah. do that for you later. You gotta texture the heck out of this haircut. Mm hmm, absolutely. Texture is your friend on this haircut for sure. Texturing and pomade. Yep. Absolutely. Is that one favorite one? Um, yeah. I love distortion, but they got rid of that. Have you tried control in yet? Mm-mm. Big sexy. That's a good one. Good. That's good. I'll have to try that. What's it called, did you say? Control Maniac. So Control Maniac, you guys, from Big Sexy. I'm going to go get it and try it. She said it's a good one. It's got good hold, but it's got shine, too. So you can get a PC look and still have some shine with it. Cool. I'll have to get some. Not that there's not like 5,000 ponies out there. <laughs> Okay, now we're going to dry her and then finish just touching it up after it's dried. Oh, right over there, sorry. Oh, just like mine. Is it? <laughs> Do you need the little, a littler one than that? Flat iron? No, that okay. We only just need to touch it up a little bit. Okay. You guys, she's going to put at volume mousse in this, um, obviously because my hair is fine and thin. So it gets on the hair strand and it swells it, so you have more um, volume. What do you get from Cosmo? Um, Cosmo. Do you still have it? Mm -hmm. Thank goodness. Not in Spanish, but up in Orm. Of course. Right. I know. I'm so sad for this is going yeah. It's just not even the same. They lost the personal touch. Yep. Okay. Totally agree. Sorry, what do you want? I'm just going to round brush it a little bit in the back to give it some body while we're drying it.
crazy, huh? Good. I'm just going to go through and notch a few of these shorter so when she stands it up, we'll give it some more oomph when she wraps it a little bit. fun that is you guys with the dark under there that's going to be fun is, it just, is there a magic trick oh, yeah. there we go. Right. i should have had my nice one down here <laughs> just play with it comb it forward and mess with it to see how our hair is going to lay then you can kind of go back through and even out anything you need to
Just Oops. take them straight up with the flat irons. And then on the side, you can kind of just give it a little twist and flip a little bit of it out. So it's not all straight. So excited. I know, right? He's on a date. Work it through your hands and keep touching it through their hair. Piece it out where you want it. Sometimes with fine hair, I'll push it, put pomade at their scalp and it helps it stand up a little bit better. If you can just kind of finger it forward if she wants, she can tuck it back. And all that was just done with your fingers and pommy and hairspray. Yay, so exciting. Want to see the back? I would love to. Oh my gosh, I love it. It's I cute. love it. Thank you. You're welcome. Such a fun change. Super fun. Mm -hmm. Thanks, Melissa. You're welcome. You're awesome.